Mrs Grey. Today I'm going to read you the story called Vegetable Glue and it's written by Susan Chandler and the pictures are drawn by Elena Odrizola and this is a story about a little girl who didn't eat her fruit and vegetables up. Let's see what happens. When my right arm fell off I knew what to do. I stuck it back on with vegetable glue. Ah, oh, when my head rolled away, I thought it had gone, but I found it again and stuck it back on. You can see for yourself that something's not right. People don't fall apart, it's just not polite. I have to keep with me a big tub of glue to stick bits back on to make good as new. I hear you all shout, we've heard quite enough, tell us how do we make that gloopy green stuff? If our noses fall off, then what would we do? Where would we buy some vegetable glue? Well, it's not in the shops and it's not on the telly because vegetable glue is in everyone's belly. Oh. When you eat up your greens, your body makes glue, which keeps all your bits sticking to you. Oh, but I was quite silly. I made a mistake. I wouldn't eat good things. I only ate cake. <gasps> Lots of cake. Chocolate cake, vanilla cake. I wouldn't eat cabbage or turnips or beans. I didn't like carrots. I didn't like greens. I didn't eat sprouts. Now I've no special glue. No goodness inside me like other kids do. While others are playing. <coughs> I can't even cough. If I sneeze or burp, then something falls off. Oops, pardon me, I've made a rude sound. My bottom's dropped off and now it's on the ground. Oh no. Now here is my granny to give me some more. She's looking quite good for a hundred and four. She'd like you to know why she's so fit and able. She ate all her greens before leaving the table. She ate all her greens, and I hope you do too. Then you'll never need any vegetable glue. Mm. That's the end.